Welcome to Out of the Rough, I'm Fred Arnold. And in today's show, I'm gonna highlight opportunities and solutions to many of today's difficult challenges. And today I wanna to talk to you about uh, 10 simple saving steps that you can do to help reach your financial goals. I'll tell you what, right now, it takes a little bit of discipline, but if you follow these goals, and, and what American isn't looking for a way to save a couple bucks to help reach their long and short-term financial goals? And so I'm gonna give you these 10 items. First one is, Review your checking account. Do you have multiple checking accounts? Do you have a checking account that's costing you a lot of money? As a matter of fact, do you have multiple credit cards that are costing you um, yearly fees, annual fees, uh, where you can combine them and maybe just have a, a few credit cards versus having maybe five or six? Or can you ask for that annual fee to either be reduced or removed? That'll save you a couple bucks. Um, confirm overdraft protection. This is a really important one, and that is uh, ever since I was younger, I always believed in the fact that you always want to have overdraft protection because courtesy pay fees or overdraft over the limit fees can be very costly. So it's always nice to have that extra cushion, uh, whether it be $500, $1,000, $5,000, depending on where you are with your checking account. So if you happen to dip in to uh, having to write a check, dip in a little bit to that overdraft protection, it'll prevent you from paying those costly fees. Um, this is one, open a, a home equity line of credit. Now, for those of you that have the equity, I know um, it's challenging times and values have dropped a little bit, but if you do have equity, open up just a nominal home equity line of credit. It can be opened up and the cost per year is about $75 but you never know when you can utilize that home equity line of credit for any opportunities that come up, whether it be uh, an opportunity to send your children to a certain school, whether it be an opportun opportunity to invest in real estate, uh, maybe an opportunity to buy a car all cash using your home equity line of credit, and that way you're not subject to someone else's financing. We see this all the time, someone gets laid off and they just need a little bit of, another two or 300 bucks a month to squeeze by those tough economic times. And if there is a home equity line of credit, it'll help them during those tough and challenging times. This is a, kind of a, a no brainer, but uh, pay down your mortgage if you can. Every penny you can squeeze out of your mortgage. Now, the reason why people become very wealthy in real estate is they pay down their mortgage. One of the most simple principles, and you pay so much principal up front that if you could start year one paying an extra $100, and then year two an extra $200, year three an extra $300, as you maybe slowly get raises or promotions, or you maybe work those extra couple of hours, go ahead and try to pay down that mortgage. You know if you took your mortgage payment and you divided it by 12, and you paid that little extra each month, so you take your mortgage payment of $1,000 divided by 12, $83 a month, and you apply that extra little bit each and every month, you pay down your loan over seven years sooner. Oh, what a great thing to strategize and, and take advantage of. Um, pay off your higher, uh, your higher cost credit cards and expenses first. If you've got a student loan an 8%, pay that off first. Kind of get, get that squared away first. Look to refinance your car at these lower interest rates. Um, but pay off your higher debts first, higher interest rate credit cards. Um, Here's another one with your credit cards. Go ahead and do balance transfers to credit cards that offer a lower interest rate. Or better yet, call your current credit card company and ask them, will you lower my interest rate? Because here I have a, a, a comp your competition that's trying to get me or offer me a lower rate. Will you match that interest rate? And you, they want your, especially if you're paying on time, they really want you to continue to be a great customer. And if you're using that credit card on a monthly basis, they make valuable fees, so you shouldn't be paying those high interest rates. Um, pay attention to coupons and specials. Now, I do believe in eating at home one extra time a week than you were used to. Um, I also believe I, I really enjoy getting out with my family and going out to dinner and supporting the local restaurants, and a lot of them have specials because they get it. They get, they want to attract you, early bird specials or coupons. Uh, I know uh, 
Uh, my, my good friend from 25 Scorecards got discounts with many businesses in the community. So that's, uh, that's an opportunity that you can look at taking advantage of. Call your insurance agent. Ask your insurance, insurance agent if there's ways you can save. Maybe get a higher deductible. Uh, maybe there's another carrier within your insurance company where they can give you, uh, with your, your insurance agent, they can get you a better rate. Um, in fact, I got Robert Briner coming on in the next segment, and that's what he does, always consulting his, his customers to get them a better rate. So call your uh, insurance professional. And uh, for all my friends that are car dealers, I'm sorry, but try to drive your car two years longer and then go get that car, uh, that dream car of yours. Just two years longer. Um, try not to have that payment for, you, know, you paid off in five years, keep your car for seven. You're used to trading it in after three, keep it for five. And that will help you build your wealth. And uh, email me some ideas that you have that you've used during these tough, ec tough economic times to help, uh, to help save some money. We'll share them on the air uh, with others. Uh, email me, fred at fredarnold.com. Well, we're going to jump to a quick break. But when we come back, i got Jake Young with American Family Funding. And he's going to share with us a creative solution to avoid what the traditional MI mortgage insurance is. Uh, we'll be right back.